It surely is one of the most gorgeous cars that has ever been built. This form factor displays a stunning elegance. Even standing still, this car gives the impression of being very fast. The BMW 327, built in 1937, is a result of the relocation of the development department from the German city of Eisenach to Munich. The automotive historian and author Hagen Nünke has been intensely investigating the development of old-timers stemming from that time. What immediately stands out is a fundamental change in design. We have bei diesem Fahrzeug eine komplett with this vehicle, we have a completely different design language than that was previously used before. Previously, bodies were just always shaped like a box. We just had straight lines. But suddenly, there is a vehicle with soft, flowing lines, shown in a very stylish package. Italian lightness instead of massive functionality. The engine and bodywork of the BMW 327 are manufactured completely in the former main plant in Eisenach. Body suppliers are no longer necessary. The basic structure is a frame made of ash wood. Then the workers had to adjust all individually handcrafted body panels. This car has absolutely nothing to do with mass production. It is made entirely by handwork. A fender for this car can't be built in one piece, but it consists of at least 20 pre-shaped pieces. So interchangeable parts, as we know today, did not exist at the time. The concept, a sporty, luxurious vehicle for the young, fashion-conscious generation. The split windscreen makes it possible to angle the windscreen outwards. That makes the car more streamlined and aerodynamic. The car weighs only 3,000 pounds and is equipped with a six-cylinder engine delivering 55 horsepower. Later, it also came out with an 80-horsepower engine. The 327-28 with the 80-horsepower engine has been the highlight of the series because the car feared no other opponent. It was quick, sporty, and super elegant. The design of the BMW 327 has influenced following generations of BMWs. In the early 50s, the production of the car continued in small numbers in the former German Democratic Republic. More importantly is that in 1952, as BMW restarted automobile production in Munich, they produced the so-called Baroque Angel in series, and it's precisely the design language from the 327 that was assumed. With less than 2,000 cars manufactured, the BMW 327 is one of the most desirable cars in the old-timer scene.